don't worry about it. <laughs> Right now I'm with an animal that most people would be afraid of, and rightfully so. This is the copperhead. Um, this is one of North Carolina's most common venomous snakes. Now if you can notice, it's not a very big snake. It's a, probably one of uh, maybe a year and a half to two years old. So it's probably not last year's baby, but the year before. If you notice though, he's still got the chartreuse green on his tail, which is a symbol that he's still a baby, and they use that for what's called caudal luring, which means he can use that tail and kind of wiggle it like this and lure frogs and toads and things of that nature that he would want to eat. Um, now a lot of people think that all good snakes are dead snakes. And I think that that is the worst thing ever. Even this venomous snake, even though it could potentially um, cause you a lot of pain and it could even kill somebody if it were to bite them in the right place, this snake is not that bad. God designed him in such a way that within their venom, within the enzymes of their venom, um, it can have the cures to things like cancer. See, they've been doing research on copperhead snakes, and there's a, a drug that they've created called contortrostatin that it, it'll encapsulate cancer cells, and it helps them to flush out of the body and things like breast cancer. It's really cool. Now, if we think about this as like a person, you know, Christians, most people that aren't Christians are kind of afraid of Christians because of what comes out of our mouth. So a lot of times what comes out, it's not love, it's not things that can cure or save people like the gospel of Jesus. It's usually condemnation and things that uh, would seem venomous to someone that's not a believer and it's, it doesn't seem like it's coming out of a place of love. Now with this guy, if we look at him in the nature of God created all things in Genesis 1 and at the very end of the creation week God said everything was very good. If we look at him in that aspect and think, Instead of thinking of him as an evil or a bad animal, God created him and he's very good. Think about all the positive things that can come out of this animal. And just like you as a believer, think about instead of being venomous to somebody, instead of you know somebody you disagree with just completely writing them off and saying they're wrong and they're going to hell, try to love them, try to love them into the kingdom. And yes, tell them the truth and tell them about sin, but walk with them, walk with them. It says we need to be ambassadors of Christ and we need to be Christ-like. Um, and if you want to check me on that, read 1 Thessalonians. It says we just need to love them and walk with them and walk alongside of people. So with this snake, you know, he's good, he's venomous. And, and like the representation we've used before, if it's sin, we don't want to get too close to it because it can sink its fangs into us. Um, but we're not going to do that. It's just a beautiful animal and he's got such a great purpose and he's very good. God created him in such a way that he's awesome. So we're just going to walk away and... Uh, and hope you learned something about an awesome snake.